Hi there. This past week, I got a sticker in the mail from Caitlin the Cat. Caitlin the Cat is a young lady from the UK. She does some really nice turning, and her claim to fame, at least for now, is going to be a chain she put together. To make this chain, she had wood turners from all over the world make rings, segmented rings is what I put together, solid wood rings from all over, and lots of different varieties. Then she made some links, put these rings together into a chain. And she just released a video showing what she did with them. So I'm going to put a link down below this video if you'd like to check that out. She's still accepting rings, so maybe if you haven't seen it before, you'd like to send one to her as well. And thank you, Caitlin, for sending me the sticker. It'll be up on my virtual wall from now on. Now, for today's project, I turned this. This is made of zebra wood, wenge, zebra wood again, and then movenge. And to make this, I used the frame squaring jig that I released a video on recently to put everything together, and the miter gauge precision adjuster to make sure that I had these frames all the exact lengths to make this work out. Now, if you missed those two videos, I'll put links for those as well down below this video. You can check them out, see if it's something you want to put together. So, I hope you'll stick around for this, and let's go get some work done. I recently put out a video where I showed you how I put together this frame squaring jig. I had used these same pieces of wenge. Now I'm going to show you why I took this out from years since I've used it and decided to use it on this project. And this project is going to be this square piece of kumaru, which is going to sit within these pieces and be glued in there. And then I want to take other pieces of different wood, put them around here, eventually cut them into approximately a 16 inch circle and then make something out of that. So I'm not going to do the glue up on camera because it's going to take me a while. I'm sure you don't want to see that, but I'll be back to show you how this turns out and put it on the lathe. So stick around. I hope you enjoy this. I've glued up this frame of Wenge in my frame squaring jig. And initially I was going to put this piece of Kumaru in there, but I decided it looks kind of bland. So I've decided to go with this piece of zebra wood. I think that'll have a little more impact. So I'm going to leave this in the frame because this is a little thicker than this wood is. And I can push it down until I know that it's right flush on the top. So I'm going to put some glue around the edges here and put that down in place and give it some time to dry. All right, I'll let that glue set.
I will just use these to help pull it in a little bit. These boards around the outside are too thick to be brought in just by the framing square on the bottom. That's why I've used these to bring the top in. And I think that should do it. Now, let this glue dry and I'll be back. Well, this is not looking too bad, and it's heavy. All right, I want to draw a circle on here, just under 16 inches, which is what will fit on my lathe. Trim it on the bandsaw, and then mount it on the lathe.
I thought I might like to make a bit of a hollow in here, but actually I don't like the looks of that. So I'm just going to make this a crown here, I guess. After I finish sanding this, I'm going to use the same finishing techniques that I used on the bottom. Very happy with the way it looks. And then I'll be back to show you the results. All right, it's finished, and I'm very pleased with it. I'm pleased with the choice of woods. They're fairly dramatic looking, and I like that. And what's more important, my wife likes it. Now, originally I was going to make a, a platter with this, make it flat on the bottom, but this seemed like a better idea having it domed. I like the little bead here. I don't know if you can see that on camera very well. But all in all, I'm very pleased with this. I like how the frame squaring jig worked. Got nice tight joints all the way around, no gaps. I think it's pretty good. So I hope you like this. I want to thank you for joining me today and sticking around. If you like this, click the like button. Let me know that I'm doing something right and share it with your friends if they might want to tackle something like this. So now have a great day in your shop and be safe. I hope you'll come back next time. Take care now.